Enfant Riche de Prime is a brand that has historically been incredibly consistent in the pieces that they put out. They've called themselves nihilist punk couture, and their output uh, generally reflects that perfectly. So what does that mean? It means that season after season, you're going to see a similar kind of off-putting, maybe even offensive graphic t-shirts. Those t-shirts are going to be either uh, generally true to size or sometimes even undersized, like a cropped baby dollish type of style. They're going to do um, punk-inspired black leather pieces. They're going to do kind of big, chunky uh, derby shoes or even over-the-leg boots. And they're going to do some very fine, high-end graphic knitwear. And that's what fans love about them. They put out great clothes, great quality, really unique, uh, and very exclusive, but also consistent. Picking up an ERD piece, you know what's going into your closet and where it's going to fit with any other given ERD piece. But that being said, every once in a while, they put out a piece that is quite unlike anything else they've done. They take a big swing, and I'm curious to see if that is a home run or a swing and a miss. I am not a baseball person. That was a stretch of a metaphor for me, but I think I nailed it. Knocked it out of the park. So today I've got two pieces for you. I've got a shirt, a t-shirt, and a pair of boots. And both of these are unlike anything else that Enfant Riche de Premier has ever done before. So first off, this t-shirt. The I finally found someone t-shirt. Now you might say that doesn't look too weird. It's another graphic t-shirt. Didn't you say that's what they do? Yeah, but this is the most oversized t-shirt I have ever bought. Even more oversized than any Balenciaga shirt I've ever known. And that's like as oversized as it, as it gets, or at least I thought so. So remember what I said about how their t-shirts usually fit? This is the polar opposite, and I want to check that out. But I also got a pair of boots. And you might be saying, those look like a great pair of boots. Yes, they do. Uh, Cuban heel, really nice pointed up toe, leather in this striking yellow color with black stars within. Uh, but here's the thing. This doesn't look like what ERD usually looks like. Uh, this color is a bit uncommon for them. The shape isn't something that they do often. And the star motif, pretty much everything about this, this boot is more what you'd expect like from uh, Eddie Slama in his time at Saint Laurent, or more recently even Amiri does stuff along these lines, but this is a bit out of the ordinary for ERD. So I want to look at these boots and that massive oversized t-shirt and see what ERD is thinking. Does it work? What's the vibe? Uh, let's find out. All right, let's start by taking a look at this t-shirt, and you can already see this ERD does not usually put t-shirts in bags like this. This is usually uh, reserved for like button down shirts and stuff, but it's just so big, it's not gonna fit in a normal t-shirt bag. Uh, what do we got on the stickers here? So this is the finally found someone t-shirt dress. Wow, and on the runway they put it on, on a man. So it's a, it's a male t-shirt dress, um, white multicolored, and very interestingly, one size. That's not something I've ever seen ERD do before, but they only put this out in this one single size because doing different sizes of this, as you'll see, would just be futile. It's just big, the end. You don't need multiple sizes of that. Uh, so let's get this thing out of the bag and up on the hanger. Oh yeah, it looks like it looks like a normal t-shirt, just maybe kind of wide, right? Yeah, it wasn't that big, was it? Uh, Jaws music intensifying. Jeez. That's a big boy. It really is like a dress. Uh, I haven't measured it. I'm guessing it's like three and a half feet tall. So it would come down like below my knees, I'm, I'm guessing, and really drop shoulders as well. This is crazy. All right, let, let's look at the tags first. All right, it's got your typical ERD tags, essence sticker, and then the special treatments, burns and tears and stuff are intentional. But this one they've actually kept pretty classy. They don't seem to have damaged it in any significant way that I can notice. It's your typical ERD brand tag at the back of the neck, stitched down on both sides here. And as far as the tags go, it's no different than their normal pieces. They actually call this a small. So I don't know if the one size was wrong and they did make other sizes of this, but that's funny, S for small, that's crazy. Okay, 100% uh, cotton, that makes sense. It feels like normal t-shirt material. And is it made in the USA like most of their stuff? Yes, it is. So this is 
your typical ERD t-shirt in every way, except for the fit, which is gnarly. But okay, uh, let's look at this graphic here. So it's a very kind of like vintage style print, almost like pixelated. I like the, the color choices here. It's very soft feeling. It's quite soft for ERD. It almost feels like a late night soft core kind of vibe. Um, but it is, it's sensual more than sexual. And sometimes they're a very sexual brand. Uh, I finally found someone, Enfant Riche de Prime in script. Again, very vintage. It feels like a 90s Janet Jackson t-shirt kind of treatment, which is again, different for the brand. They don't usually have this sort of vibe, but at the same time, if you really think about the subtext, it's pretty dark. And that's very much in line with their aesthetic. The fabrication is a bit more like a standard t-shirt. It's not like this super paper thin uh, type of cotton that they sometimes do. It's a bit sturdier, which I think makes sense for a piece with this kind of fit. You want something that has a bit more structural integrity. Um, you've got a ribbed collar here, quite standard, all things considered. And then this hem right here rolled up. Yeah, perfect. So I think this is like a standard ERD t-shirt that is just blown up to infinity. So it may not seem crazy right now, but you're just gonna have to wait for the try on. So uh, that's the t-shirt. Let's look at the boots. So this is a pair of yellow cowboy boots from ERD that I believe were exclusive to Mr. Porter. That's the only place I've ever seen them. Uh, and they were extremely expensive at retail. I think the starting price for these was over $2,000. So let's see if, if that checks out here. Let's, let's see the details. The cut of these is absolutely fantastic. It's this Cuban heel, which means it's going kind of inward like this, this big block heel of stacked leather. You can see each discrete layer of the leather in the heel right here and how it's carved off. That's really nice. And then you get this slope down the middle of the shoe and then it curves back around up towards a pointed toe. So that's a really classic kind of, yeah, Saint Laurent uh, type of cowboy boot fit, which I really like. And then that outsole is stitched down around the outside here, very clean, very nice. And then you get the leather. I can smell the leather from here. I can tell it's a very high quality and it's got this like yellow coat of pigment on top. And it's just a few discrete panels here that are stitched down in these various portions overlapping over here. Probably one of the other standout elements aside from the heel and pointed toe are of course these star inserts in black leather. And that goes, you can see they're kind of cut out and then the black goes inward into this bottom layer here. These are zip up boots. They zip from the inside and also matching yellow, which I really like. And they are YKK zippers, good to see. And then if we undo this, you've got a little kind of leather counter here and also some backing on the inside so nothing gets damaged. And you can see how nice that leather is here when it unzips. And they keep it natural on the inside. You can see the grain really nicely. Like that is some natural ass leather right there. That's probably why the smell is so strong, so pure. It sounds creepy. I sound like a vampire right there. Give me your blood, your leather. That's a cool stitch. That's like a classic. It really has the construction of a classic cowboy Western boot, which I like. I, I like the authenticity there. There's a black leather insole in there, which I think is cemented down. And then the sole is really nice. I love the like red polish on here. So you've got the nails down here, the stacked leather sole, that's so sick. And then doubled up with the nails right here on the center. And look at that shape. The shape is beautiful and it points off to the toe. You can see the natural kind of uh, texture down there at the bottom and then pressed in there, Enfant Riche de Prime and the size right underneath it. This one is size 11, which is actually big for me. And we'll talk about sizing a little bit later, but these are, I think, definitely gonna be on the big side. So overall, I really like these. They're just so different from ERD, but I can see how they will fit into the ERD look. Um, and I like that they're starting to branch out. This is a really, really cool pair of boots right here. So now that we've checked out the details of these boots and this t-shirt, it is time to put them on. And I, I don't know, what to do for this. So take a look on screen here. This is the runway look from this t-shirt. That's what I, I know how to wear these, these boots, but the t-shirt, I'm not sure. So I'll be referencing this a bit in the other pieces we choose to put together our outfit. So let's take a look. So we saw the runway look and we saw that it's kind of like a, a dirty white outfit with sunglasses and a long coat. 
and that works. I don't know that we can pull that off. And I also don't necessarily know that this boot and this shirt are really supposed to go together, but this video is a video about weirdo ERD pieces that don't necessarily fit in with the rest of their pieces. So we might as well make a weirdo look here and just take a couple cues from that runway look. So I love the long like trench coat idea, but I think I'm gonna go denim here. I think denim will match well with the colors of this print here. So for that, we have this crazy long denim Balenciaga coat. It's so long, it's so heavy, because it's also got this cream shearling lining inside. That's wool, you guys. I love this thing so much. I don't get enough opportunities to wear it. It's Japanese too, so sick. And then let's, let's just go matchy-matchy. Let's go denim, because we've got this pair of ERD jeans here, straight leg jeans, but they're also flannel lined here. And I think these colors I don't know if they're gonna work. I don't know, we'll see. And finally, we also saw that the runway look had sunglasses. So we have this pair of ERD Terry Lazary sunglasses. Uh, and I think the colors there could work. Yeah, I could see it, maybe. Uh, with the boots though, who knows? And last but not least, I also have this ERD super ornate belt in yellow that perfectly matches the color of those boots. So I kind of have a feeling that I could belt this t-shirt around the middle and it would actually give it a kind of cool look. So maybe we'll try that out as well. Yeah, this is gonna be a weirdo look. Let's just do it. Okay, so we'll put this together piece by piece and we're gonna start with those ERD uh, blue jeans with the flannel lining and we'll cuff those up as well because I mean, the lining's there, why not use it? And then we can move right on into the boots. And these, like I said, very Western styled, especially paired with denim. Very interesting. And then our big giant dress t-shirt. Holy hell, that thing is big. My God. And just this big, big oversized flowy thing. It's a bit much. It comes down, you know, it, it's actually a bit shorter than I expected. I was expecting below the knee, but it's really more like two thirds of the way down my thigh. But this big open fit, I don't know, I feel like it needs something more. So I think we are gonna go for that ERD rose studded belt uh, to cinch it around the waist. And that's gonna give it a little bit of extra shape and interest that I think will add a lot. Next up, remember we saw in that runway look that he was wearing sunglasses. So we've got our ERD Terry Lazary sunglasses. And we'll throw those on now. Terry Lazary, is that how you say it? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, but they look good. And now we're getting somewhere. This is a wild, wild look, but I did warn you up front. So let's finish it off and throw on the Balenciaga denim shearling coat. It's so long, it's so heavy. But once it's all on, I don't know, it kind of works. Like it's a bit much. I'd be a bit self-conscious going out in public like this. Uh, and it is a weirdo look, but I kind of like it. I mean, the boots obviously have a fashionable west but western type of style and then when you add all that denim in as well it starts looking very americana you know what i mean uh i i kind of vibe but let's talk about these pieces more generally this shirt it's going to be something that you can only work in very specifically i'm going to need a very solid idea of the type of fit i'm trying to go for for me to try and whip this out but I do find it very striking, especially in real life. It's even more, I don't know, menacing and overbearing than it looks on video. I do like the feel of it. I like the weight of it. I like that they kept it wide. It really is more like a dress. Like it's not a typical t-shirt cut in any way, really. And now what about these boots? Uh, I really like them. Like uh, they already feel broken in. They're not overly stiff. I did mention that they're too big for me. Uh, I usually wear a size 10. These are a size 11. So it's kind of hard for me to comment on sizing, but they do feel quite roomy. Although even so, my it's not pushing my toes all the way to the front like you would, uh, like I would expect on a normal kind of Cuban heel boot. They're actually sitting quite comfortably, even though they are too big for me. So I'm definitely not complaining there. The boots, I think, are going to work much, much more broadly than the t-shirt. These are a very flattering and workable pair of boots. Like any of my Eddie Saint Laurent stuff, it's gonna work really well. Even other ERD stuff, even though this is unlike a lot of Enfant Riche de Prime, I think it will slot in well with the rest of their output. 
but yeah, this look, uh, pff, what a look. What a weird set of pieces. And I like that ERD is branching out. I appreciate them for it, and I think they should keep doing it. Uh, Nihilist Punk Couture doesn't always have to be uh, dark and thrashed. You can throw in color, and you can throw in different types of cuts, and I'm glad that they're starting to do so. All right, these were two wild ERD pieces. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.